Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to a new video and today I'm going to be showing you how easy it can be to get these um, diamond crates with these um, keys and obviously these other crates. Um, now, you know, no one really cares about these rust crates. I mean, it only costs like 50k wins for one crate, so we're going to leave them alone. However, we're going to mainly focus on these three crates and keys here, which are genuinely easy to get. Let's open them. So here are my arms right now. This one does 750%, which is really OP, and it's boosted me a lot. And I'm going to be showing you how you can get Diamond Crate and Diamond Crate Key really easily. So first of all, we're going to go over here, over here. This is the update that was put in the game yesterday. I don't know. I think it was yesterday. No, it was the day before. Um, I just genuinely forgot to make a video on it. And uh, so basically, it's like an arm quest. So you stay in the game 45 minutes, and you get... And win 10 battles against NPCs, not players. I've got to clarify that. You get plus 3 silver crit keys and crits. So that's really OP. And plus you can do this infinite times. So that's brilliant. That's a good way to um, get them in uh, the crit and the keys instead of having to buy them. Um, however, with this one though, um, you this one's much better. This OP quest, I need, I've gotten two of these so far, I think. I need to wait in the game for like another two minutes uh, like another 10 minutes to get this one um again but you can also get this one infinite times you need to extend the game 60 minutes like 15 more minutes than the 45 minutes so that's really not much of a difference and win 60 battles so that's also going to be really easy uh i'm going to be showing you the fastest way to do that and the the best way so um yeah uh so you get diamond key and you get a crate from that so that's pretty epic. I also got a diamond key from defeating the NPCs. That and I heard that's a really rare chance as well to be able to get that. But um I'm not sure. And as you can see, guys, I didn't know this, but do you know the crab egg in the new world? The pets are so OP. Like look at these stats. For a, a baby void devil crab. Twenty thousand times. And yes, it is hard to get the diamond currency in that world. I managed to only get like seven billion of it. And, uh, yeah, but the pets are totally worth it getting, if you, especially if you don't have the last world. Also, guys, make sure a super rebirth, which I can actually do right now, which I'm definitely going to do. Um, well, actually, before that, I'm going to show you the best way to get diamond crates and diamond keys. Now, you probably think it's best to go to the Atlantis world, that's where you get diamond keys from. But no, you can get them from any boss. Um, but it's better, if you look at the events, it's actually egg, you defeat one beach boss so it could be any of these and it's better to actually do it here because that means you're going to be grinding event eggs at the same time as defeating these and that can be really good because you have a 0.01 percent chance of hatching it and imagine if you have two thousand of these eggs after grinding for a long time if you want to defeat them fast enough make sure you go for the weakest one if you want if you're grinding keys and crates um, well, not necessarily crates, because you have to buy them, or grind quests for them, but mainly keys. Um, but yeah, that's pretty epic. Also, hopefully, they add it so it will add something where you can fuse these together, and maybe give arms enchants, that would be epic, or maybe trade the arms. I don't know, it sounds a bit weird, but I don't know, I don't know why they came up with the idea of arms, but I guess, I guess pretty, pretty good for grinding. Um, also, I want to give you guys a big tip for this Atlantis world before it leaves. Um, as you can see, you can look around, blah, 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 blah. You, you, you've, you've seen this world a few times. As you see, I've grinded 5 QA strength. And I had 1 QA strength. And then, I was like, what? And then after the update, I only had 411 trillion strength. So I was like, where on earth did my strength go? And I realised it reset your arms. It got rid of all your arms. So now you have to grind them back. But I guess that's okay because of this new quest thing. Um, so yeah, if you're wondering where on earth your strength went in this world, it's just because they reset your arms. Also, it's best if you get this here. Uh, some trails. To grind strength. That, that would be pretty good for grinding strength. Uh, that's how I grind my strength. Like, it's so OP. Like, watch how much I get um, per click. Even without the trails and arms, I could probably get 1 QA strength. Um, I get... Oh, this is in the other world. Damn. Okay, wait. Give me a minute. Boom. 
look at that. I get like, I would say like 20 something billion per click, which is so OP. And once you do actually have enough to beat the Pazedian, keep grinding, like beating him until you get this crab egg. Because this crab egg is so broken. And you want to grind the Pazedian overnight like I did. And that's how, um, that's how I've became quite rich overnight, really. Um, I, I can get to one QI now if I wanted to. Maybe in this world, not in the, not in the first world, though, like the th world three, the normal worlds. I will be able to unlock the mutant world soon, which I could have done a long time ago, but I didn't have the good pets to do so. Also, I'll be giving away some crabs, so if you want some, let me know, because these guys are actually really OP. Like, look at this, 10,000... 7,500, and a base, and a base Void Citrus Crab does 5,000, which is absolutely crazy. A base Devil Crab, do I even have a base Devil Crab? Don't think I do, actually. No, I don't. But yeah, look at these stats, like, uh, yeah, I'll pretty much see you all guys later in another video. Uh, I'm gonna go edit the thumbnail and stuff now, so I'll see you all later.